Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about a meta refinery into steam turbine power setup that allows you to turn on steel to forever if you so choose to do so. And basically, this system allows you to use the meta refinery as a way of heating up the contents. And we'll get to do this design right now. So of course, the main purpose of this is to utilize the amount of heat you generate into a power source for the steam turbine. As you can see, our steam turbine is running close to max power. And what we do is basically, if you guys didn't know, when you guys make any metal, you guys make a good amount of heat. If we make steel and we're using crude oil as a medium, you can see that we increase the heat of the crude oil by 138 degrees. Of course, depending on what you're smelting, the amount of heat you apply to the liquid is going to differ. As you can see right here, copper is 47, gold is 15, iron is 79, and steel is 138. So, how that works is, basically, we are heating up the crude oil and we're having it stockpile in a reservoir. That reservoir yields to a looping line that has a temperature check, and if the oil gets too cold, it leaves the line. And when it leaves the line, it becomes the liquid medium for the meta refinery to keep using. So that's how the loop works. And there's a lot of other things going on too. We have the aqua tuner line keeping cool on the steam turbine and the meta refinery so that it could be used forever. Now, the design is as shows with the radiant piping. But the first thing I'm going to talk about is the vacuum. So this room is a vacuum. And this is very important as you need this vacuum in order to handle the hot liquid. One of the things is that you guys may notice that the crude oil going in is around 187 degrees. It's actually supposed to be around 190, which means that the oil coming out is around 300. These liquids are really high. That's actually how we get the steam turbine room inside to get up to 200 degrees Celsius so that we get max power. Now, in order to handle the hot liquids, we need the vacuum. And if I click on the reservoir, you're going to be able to see that even though this is made out of copper and it overheats at 75 degrees, the crude oil at 323 degrees is being handled without any issues. That's also the case here, as when there's going to be contents here, the liquid is going to be around 190 because that's what this sensor is set to, and also our liquid shutoff because this overheats at 125, but the liquids that's passing through is around 300 degrees. It should all melt or break, but because we have it in a vacuum environment, we get to mess around with some of the properties of the building that allows us to handle the hot liquid with minimal mess. Now, of course, the aqua tuner steam turbine room right here, pretty straightforward. All we have is a temperature check to cool down the meta refinery and the steam turbine. You guys could set this to whatever you want. And we also have a video talking about the aqua tuner steam turbine that goes more in depth about how this setup works. But you could see our design is set up as so. And we do have an external power source heating up our or powering our build over here. So you do need power that's on a... Uh, set up like so that you could power as much as you need and of course let's go through some of the math so because we want to maintain the steam to be 200 degrees we have our medium set to 190 whenever possible so that when we do make steel it adds 138 increasing our crude oil to 300 degrees so that we could loop that in and get the steam turbine running at full power now because of this we get to not only reuse the liquid, also convert this into a power generator. I have this steam turbine hooked into my power supply over here so that it's always generating power. Now, you, of course, you do need this constantly running. That's one of the caveats about the build. You can't have this disabled on a smart battery so that it only generates power when it needs to because of the fact that you do need to cool down the oil in order for you to continue smelting the metals. But of course, you could see that we could easily power the steam turbine, have it run at max power. 
there are a couple other caveats you might even think about. Could we add another steam turbine and make it so that it's wider, spreading out the amount of steam and having more power be generated? Although that is fine to have in the case, one of the things about that is, is that you may overcool the liquid medium. So because you're going to widen the box, the steam room is also going to be wider, which means you're going to have more radiant piping. And although you can do that, you're going to be cooling down the liquid medium more than necessary. And you might bring it below 190 degrees by a wide margin. If you do have your liquid medium cooled too much, you actually are going to have a harder time maintaining the temperature as we have the liquid sitting in a vacuum the heat of the liquid medium doesn't matter to us so the higher the better typically and all that you can have a second one i wouldn't advise to do so you can potentially maybe play around with the liquid piping to not have it be as long maybe only have it cover two levels and put a second turbine and then we also will go into how the pipeline mechanics work. This might be a little bit confusing to you guys. So we're going to pause the game and redraw the piping so that you guys see what's going on. So we're going to redo it. So from this refinery, we'll have it right here. As you can see, there is a metal pipe coming from the top. This goes over here. And then there's a bridge that goes into this tile. And then we have the shutoff here. The shutoff actually goes like this and the overflow like that that comes in from the sensor so it's like that so that's how the pipelines is underneath the shutoff if you guys are a little bit confused and how the bridge works on that side what we're actually doing is allowing the contents that are inside of the loop and after we do the temperature check if it's cool enough we'll leave but if it's not cool enough we want that liquid to cycle a second time so by doing so, we don't stop the metal refinery from emptying in into the reservoir and so that we could cool down the liquid faster instead of adding in new hot liquid as soon as possible. This allows it so that the liquid cools quicker so that we could run it more. And of course, that's the loop that we have right there. That might look a little bit confusing. Basically, pipe here, pipe here, shut off goes here with the automation connected to the thermal sensor right above. And that's what we have right there. But of course, guys, this has been the Meta Refinery setup into power. Of course, this is not power positive as you can make it more power positive if you were to increase the steam volume. We're really just trying to utilize the Meta Refinery for as much power as we can. So it kind of cuts back on the power it consumes because we just make it back with the steam turbine although the uh, 800 watts that we could approach is not going to be close to the 1200 we consume per second it's still a pretty good pickup but of course guys any questions or comments leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys